Hi, good morning, WSCY. Hello there, this is Eddie Perez. How you doing today? Hey, Eddie, it's you. Hi, it's Joyce Danis here on a new morning. Uh, thanks for coming on board. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? Oh, fantastic. I'm just uh, hearing the tour bus rolling down the highway <laughs> headed to North Dakota somewhere. Oh, boy, <laughs> yeah. You're way far away. Yes, we're in the beautiful yeah. lakes region, and it is lovely. You should come up. Well, you're going to be coming up on Saturday, December 3rd for your uh, holiday show at the Cap Center. That's right. We're so looking forward to it. We love being up in that area, you know. I mean, quite honestly, a lot of us in this band are such foodies, and we always find great meals when we're up in that area. I know that. Listen, you want to know where the good food is, come to me. I'll let you know, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a deal. So the Mavericks, it's so great to have you folks back on, back on tour, back with a great live album, new studio album coming in 2017. That's what I heard. That's right. You heard correctly. Yeah, we're very excited about it. It's a, uh, I think it's going to be a wonderful addition to the catalog. You know, the Mavericks, in my opinion, have always been... Uh, a moving musical art piece from one inspiration to the next. And, uh, you know, people kind of talk about the genre-defying band, but the truth is, is that we're just always trying to find the right musical X marks the spot on the map, you know what I mean? And so that's the beauty and the power of this wonderful thing, and we're and, uh, very fortunate to be back here, uh, you know, after all these years, having another moment. So we're very, very excited. How I approach what I do in the Mavericks is very much the same way as a singer would approach, you know, uh, on our live shows, I'm singing most of the harmony vocals to Raul, so I'm right there up on top with him, you know? And uh, But on top of that is is the guitar. The guitars are, have always been a very prominent sound in the Mavericks music as well. They've been a lot of the driving force of that and a lot of the rock and roll part of it. And And the way I approach it is very much like a singer, too. You know, you try not to get in the way of of the message. You try not to get in the way, but at the same time, you try to embellish it's almost like somebody scatting along to a lead vocalist. It's kind of how I approach what I do. You know, you can't you can't throw every single note you know into into four bars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you can, but nobody would hear it because it goes by so fast. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. Exactly. Uh, so melody is very much at the forefront of of how we all play and how we all approach our music, and I think that's. What, what contributes to that nostalgic feeling that people get when they hear our music. WSCY 106.9 FM, Eddie Perez, lead guitarist of the Mavericks. Just want to let you know, Eddie, that it's been fantastic having time with you today and looking over things and looking into the future of the Mavericks, which uh, I'll tell you I'm so excited about. Every time there's a Mavericks record, it's an event. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, the new studio album coming out in April of 2017. The uh, live album is out now, All Night Live, Volume 1. And, uh, yeah, you can get that on uh, the Mavericks' own label, too, from what I understand, right? That's right. That's right. We forced ahead our, 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 our own record label. We just decided, you know, it just made sense that uh, the way we do things in this business, uh, you know, Mavericks being what they are, I mean, we always seem to just, kind of do what we need to do <laughs> it <laughs> certainly doesn't fit it yeah. certainly doesn't fit sometimes uh, what, what how labels work you know so we decided you know why i think after 26 plus years of being in this business maybe we should try to to do this and really strike out and and put our flag in the dirt and make our own real estate and so it's been an organic way of doing it and so uh, yeah our first offering on our own label monomunda recordings well, is the all night live volume one uh, record uh it, being followed up by a, a, a new studio album that we've already finished. We're, we're kind of putting the finishing touches on it, so mm-hmm. we're very excited. And, right. and once again, it's I don't I, I I feel it's since I've been in the band, I feel it's the best Maverick record we've made. So I'm very excited about it. Eddie, does, hate, it, does it have a I title? I hate to sound cliche. <laughs> That's all right. Sound cliche because <laughs> everybody goes on and says that, but this really is. Trust me, people out there, this really is. Can't wait. Um, Yes, we have a yes. The title of the record is called "Brand New Day." Brand new day, okay. And uh, and it's it's a little uh, there's there's a, there's a little meaning behind that that title in there in the sense that I can say that this is this is something we haven't done yet. This record is really big, so we're really excited uh, for this uh, to come out next year. And so we're we're making a lot of uh, preparations for a tour and and uh, you know promotional things that we're going to be doing. And so we're very excited about this new energy and this this uh, next record that's coming out. 
So uh, if you want to get a taste of not only some holiday favorites, but some new music and some old favorites from the Mavericks, you want to see them at the Capitol Center for the Arts in Concord. Sleigh Bells ring out Saturday, December 3rd. And uh, go to ccanh.com for tickets and information. Eddie Perez, lead guitarist from the Mavericks, thanks for spending time here on A New Morning with me, Joyce Danis, on WSCY. Have a great tour, and we'll see you in December. Thank you so much. You have a great day.